Have you ever forgotten something that was important to your life? Or maybe more importantly, important to other people's lives? You hear in Isaiah, it says, Can a woman forget her nursing child, that she should have no compassion on the son of her womb? Even these may forget, yet I will not forget you. Behold, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. God has engraved you upon the palms of his hands. Think about that. It's so important that God doesn't forget you, that he's wrote you on the palms of his hands. That tells me that I'm important, that I have a purpose. There's a point for me to live and live purposely for him. We have a problem though. The Bible says that our sin separates us from God, that God can't have sin in his presence. So it's rad when we look at Romans 5.8, it says, while we were sinners, Christ died for us. So when we were enemies of the cross, we were enemies of God himself. But then he looks at his son, he's like, but this one has paid the price. And so when we call on the name of Jesus, the Bible says, if you confess your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord, you'll be saved. There's an action. There's a time when you make a declaration. This is who I am. This is what I'm going to live for. For if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more, now that we are reconciled, shall we be saved by his life. See, this is saying that, that God is alive, that Jesus is alive. He died and rose from the dead. What does that mean for us? If we're reconciled by him, and now much more in his life, well now he's living in us and living through us and our life is now should reflect. When we have received Jesus as our Lord, we have to say, God, what do you want me to do with my life? Because if I've given it to him, I'm now a new creation. I'm not the same as I used to be. I don't need to dwell in the same mud holes I used to be. Even though I sin and I mess up and I feel the shame of that sin, I need to turn back to God and say, you've already paid the price. I'm gonna keep charging on because I know that I am set free. The price was already paid because when I sin, the Bible says the wage of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. So since that price is paid, now I have to ask myself, what am I going to do with my life? If necessary, you have been grieved by various trials so that the tested genuineness of your faith more precious than gold that perishes though it is tested by fire, may be found to result in the praise and the glory at the honor and the revelation of Jesus Christ. The verse is talking about being tested by fire. Gold doesn't perish when tested by fire. It's refined. The more you burn it, the clearer the gold gets. All the impurities come to the top. And so when it's tested by fire, it actually gets better. The refiner refines it and he skims off all the junk, all the impurities that's in the gold. When we are tested by the fire, when we start giving up the things in our lives, we know that this is not something I should have in my life. When we're going through these trials, we see that the fruit of the testing brings out clarity in our faith so that the genuineness of our faith may be shown for what it is. A true faith in Jesus Christ that though it's tested by fire, will never fail. See, you were put in the place that you were put, going through the things that you were going through so that you can be a testimony to the lives and the people that are around you. And when you live out your faith, when you trust God, though everything else seems like it's falling down around you, the Bible says He'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. He's right there by your side. And so when you trust Jesus, that's when you'll find the most precious thing. It's the gold refined by fire. <laughs>